okay, this might be a hot take. I don't know if I'm gonna get cyberbullied for this. I'd probably disinvent organized religion. 27, 27 questions. questions. 27, 27 weeks. weeks. 27, 27 weeks. If I could disinvent one thing, it would be my 2007 MySpace account. I found it the other day and it was horrific. The photos were shocking. And like, I'm pretty sure like the username was something offensive. So I was just like, ooh. Not okay, not very 2020 on my part. Magpie's ability to swoop me. They always want to swoop me. I have one traumatic experience where my brother was riding his bike um, about five metres in front of me. I was pushing behind him and I a magpie swooped me and not him. And as I went to sort of duck out of the way of the magpie, I fell out of my chair onto the road and uh, was laying on the road while this magpie was uh, having its way. I think I need to have a chat with the magpie community and just be like, I'm not have, I'm not coming for you. I'm just doing my thing. Let's just do your thing. And let's just have a good day. Honestly, the beep test. Like, I haven't had to do it for years, but that, that fucking test haunts me. Also, like, the whole ideology of fascism should probably just, like, go. They're very different answers, but that's where we're at. Single-use plastics, just because they're so, so bad for the environment. Plastic. If it hadn't been invented or if people didn't know about it, we just would have found another way, I think. If I could disinvent something, it would be plastic. If we were to get rid of just plastics and things that are going to be pollutants, I think as a whole, we'd just going to be better for as a result. I'm thinking it will be those stupid public bikes that are just scattered everywhere. I don't know what they're called, but it's just, it's ruining the aesthetic of the street. I see you guys are chucking them in the rivers. I've never seen someone use it for what its intended use is. So if I could just invent one thing, please, let's get rid of those bikes. And even the scooters, I think, I just, you guys are, no, nah, I don't trust public consumption. When it comes to disinventing anything, I've always been of the opinion oh, that everything exists for a reason. It's kind of the old question of like, would you go back in time and kill baby Hitler? It, it sounds good in theory, but in practice, it might create a power vacuum. It's similar with disinventing things. That said, a world without multi-level marketing would be amazing. So a world with no like Avons or Herbalifes or doTERRAs would just be brilliance. I would disinvent guns because I think they're, although they do have some practical purpose and they can be used in, in the right type of way, I think that they have really harmed not only people um, continuously in terms of shootings um, and also genocide, the role that they've played in that is crazy, and also animals. And I think it's created a disconnect with some people. So yeah, I think I would definitely disinvent guns. I don't think I would disinvent anything, to be honest. I know there's obviously things that lead to bad things, like, you know, the gunpowder, you know, gunpowder leads to, you know, murders, and, but also gunpowder leads to, you know, the space program. If we didn't have gunpowder, then we wouldn't, um, we wouldn't have had liquid rocket fuel. <laughs> and so I think that really comes down to the crux of it for me. Disinventing something because it leads to bad outcome isn't a strong enough reason for me to uninvent something. It would be artificial intelligence. Well, strong artificial intelligence, because it's all good and well now. We've got like face recognition and like automated factories doing our work for us. But, um, you know, it's sort of the further down that rabbit hole we go, if machines start becoming self-aware, they probably won't take too long to realize that humans are inherently flawed and we're just destroying ourselves at a stupid rate. So I think they'd probably uh, put two and two together and it could result in us uh, not being on this planet anymore. I honestly, I've just been thinking about the COVID safe app and just how useless it's been. And now that I live in Kiribati, I'm just shaking my head and thinking, I really feel like something could have been great in helping the second wave spread in Melbourne. And uh, yeah, COVID safe app, wasn't it? <laughs> If I could disinvent anything, I think it would be discrimination. This week, like in the news, there's been so many different conversations about different forms of discrimination. And as a Jewish person, there's been so many conversations as well about like anti-Semitism with everything happening with Nick Cannon. And it's just been so demoralizing. Like there's so much happening in the world right now that is beyond race and culture and individual identity that like, why can't we unify ourselves with this like shared experience of just desperation essentially that we're all in there's a lot of little things that i hate you know like things like what are they called crocs shoes they could go <laughs>
But uh, no, look, oh, seriously, like if you got to disinvent disin- one thing, I would probably say the uh, the atomic bomb. The atomic bomb because warfare is always inevitable with people like it's always going to happen it's always going to be there but now it's such a high risk thing that it could just destroy everything as we know it in an instant so i just think the world's so like on a knife's edge at the moment because of those atomic weapons so that would be the one thing i get rid of diet products because the diet industry sucks your money out of your wallet but actually doesn't do anything and they don't provide any nutrients or anything for you they just give you negative body image in replace for empty calories Okay, this might be a hot take. I don't know if I'm gonna get cyberbullied for this. I'd probably disinvent organized religion because to me at least it is a monolith of power hungry people who are controlling and manipulative and I think human beings like we need something to believe in we need some kind of rule book and I feel like religion as a whole just kind of it takes that away from people and takes advantage of people and I've always viewed it as something that is a big part of a bigger problem and I mean if you were to look at it also in regards to how it affects Australia like it affects prejudice in our law prejudice in our government our prime minister himself is a part of the Hillsong Church which has on multiple occasions thwarted social distancing laws in the coronavirus pandemic and they don't pay taxes and everybody knows this and we're okay with it because it's like oh it's a church so it's okay but like it is a church so they should be paying their taxes and I think that's kind of something that we should be working on and getting rid of. I don't believe that I would disinvent anything because even though there have been some cruel inventions um, or inventions that have been used for cruel reasons we progress as humanity and as a society and I think that every invention has its place and I'm not really one for going back and changing anything so I wouldn't disinvent anything. There is one thing so heinous that I would wipe it and any incarnation of it off the face of the planet. The ped egg. It's disgusting. It makes me sick. Yes, you're fine. I get that you don't want crusty heels, but no one needs a tiny little Tupperware container of foot parmesan just hanging about. It's gross. It makes me sick. The pet egg can fuck off. No one should have even invented the spork. It is the most useless actual item. Who needs a spoon slash a fork put together? I mean, who who needs it? Um, but I honestly think social media, if I could get any uninvented or disinvented would be social media because I think it harms a lot of people's mental well-being because people watch what other people are doing online all the time. They're constantly on their phones seeing what people are doing and I don't think it's healthy. I want to say capitalism, patriarchy, the military industrial complex, but I think it would actually be filters on Instagram and Facebook. People are you seeing their faces so much and so distorted and it's really scary and I think it's attributing so much to people, young people's mental illness. Would I disinvent any one thing? Oh, I like this question. I could easily and happily say that families that vlog are not cool. I just, I don't get around it. I don't think they're funny. I don't think they're relatable and it infuriates me and all these little baby gender reveal parties, it kills me. The fast food industry, and the mechanisms around that because I feel like there are so many continuing elements of like it's impacting the environment, it's impacting people in their weight, like this roll-on effect. So I think that's probably what I'd pick, like the fast food industry. If I could disinvent one thing or see the world without one thing, it'd probably be advertising for a year just to see how clean the mental health of the world would be. Coronavirus, so a bit controversial. Um, but you go through the conspiracy theories and everything that's happening in China. Um, that was probably one, if the truth behind it coming out of a lab is right, um, that they should have left well alone, I think. Like the saxophone? <laughs> Sorry, I, I know you're probably looking for like a really deep answer, but um, it's just, I felt it's like a really deep Wikipedia hole uh, the other day about Adolf. Sax, um, the guy that invented the saxophone. He had so many bizarre near death accidents. Um, like he drank poison. I think he like swallowed a pin. He fell into a river and was drowned. Like I think he fell out of a window on like on his head. And he went on to invent so many other bizarre saxophone like tubular instruments. I just want to see what would happen. Like maybe we'd have a really weird like four barreled saxophone. That's what I'd not want to invent. <laughs> Country music needs to go. We need, we need a torture, it needs to go.